So continuing on with 7.1, this is the second video, B as in boy, and we're on example 4, and in this video we're going to be looking at metric units of length instead of the um, English units. In the English you're using, you're changing from inches to feet to miles, and in the metric you're looking at millimeters and centimeters and meters and kilometers. So uh, everything works the exact same. It's just you need to know the conversion um, relationships with metric, just like you know the conversion relationships in English. You know that there's 12 inches in a foot, there's 3 foot feet in a yard, there's 5,280 feet in a mile, etc. Well, you're going to have to learn those in uh, the metric system as well in order to do these conversions. So, for example, example 4, we're asked to change. 25 millimeters, and there's the symbol for millimeters, and we're changing it to meters. And usually what they do when they change to meters is they use a capital M, but in this book it looks like they're using a lowercase m. So we're changing from 25 millimeters to meters. So again, we write what we're given. We make a time sign, we make a line, and we put the unit of measure on the bottom. Now we have to decide if we know a conversion between millimeters and meters. Well, milla means a thousand. So that means there's a thousand millimeters in one meter. So that's our conversion there, and we'll do it here in blue. One thousand millimeters in one meter. Okay, so just like in the previous examples, we're going to cancel our millimeters right here. We'll cancel it here in red. And whatever's not canceled is what we're going to look at. Is that what we're looking for? Meters? Yes, it is. So we know that we're done. So now what we have to do is we multiply our numerators. 25 times 1. And we divide it by whatever's on the bottom. In this case, it's just 1,000. So we have 25 divided by 1,000 gives us 0 0.025 meters for an answer. So let's look at example 5. We're converting 36.5 centimeters to decimeters. And this table there to the right is from your book. I'm going to move it over a little bit because I don't need all of it. We'll just use that right there. And notice it says um, the relationship between. So that's going to be real helpful when we're looking at these conversions as far as looking at that relationship. So let's go ahead and write it the way we know. 36.5 centimeters times line centimeters. Alright, so we are going to be trying to find decimeters and we look and see is there a relationship between decimeters and centimeters. Well, if I look here and look at the relationship I see centimeters and I see decimeters but I don't see that there's a relationship. But what I do see is a centimeter to meters and then a meter to decimeters. So I'm going to change my centimeters to meters and then my meters to decimeters. So that's since meters is a common relationship here. So I'm going to look at centimeters to meters and I know that there are 100 centimeters to one meter um, according to this part right here. And then I'm going to make my time sign. And really, before I get started here, I need to realize that I have a centimeter here and a centimeter here, so I can cancel those. So that unit disappears. So again, I have my time sign, draw a line, and my meter, since it's up there, is going to go down here. And now I'm like, okay, do I know a relationship between my decimeter and meter? Well, I do right here or I'm sorry, right here, one, uh, 10 decimeters in one meter. So that's what I'm going to write here. 10 decimeters in one meter. 
Alright, which allows me to cancel these and these. And notice none, none of the numbers cancel. The only thing you cancel here is your units. So now I'm going to make this 36.5 and put it over 1 so that I realize that my numerator is everything on the top. So I've got 36.5 times 10. And on the bottom, I have just a 100 because it's the 100 times 1 times 1. So I'm going to multiply 36.5 times 10, and then that answer I'm going to divide by 100, and I'm going to get 3.65 decimeters. Okay, so I've said this several times, and I want to say it again. Make sure that you're looking each one of these um, fractions that you have have to be relationships between the units of measure. So notice, um, one meter is 100 centimeters. They're both equal to each other. We're just using different units. It's the same true with uh, 12 inches and one foot, if we were to use that as a conversion. My top number and my bottom number equal the same length. They're both the same 12 inches as one foot. And so what we're constantly looking for when we're doing this is a relationship between the units. 10 decimeters is the same as 1 meter, according to this part of the, gra or the table right here. If we are looking at kilometers and meters, there's a relationship. When you have 1 kilometer, you have 1,000 meters. So you could write, instead of an equal sign, you could put 1 kilometer over 1,000 meters, or you could write 1,000 meters over 1 kilometer. Um, it just means that they both are equal to each other. So, anyway, we'll continue on with this and jump into example 6.